Bella knows we're somewhere. She's getting all excited again. Uh, we're on. We're going to an old movie set that's on an island. Uh, the filming location of a movie. I don't know how big of a hit it was. But this little town here, it was just built. It's not a real town. The town of Spectre. We're on Jackson Lake, Jackson Lake Island. And I think we can take the RV across onto the island. I think there's camping spots, a campground there. So let me see here. We're coming up to the gate. Uh, let me see what I got to do to get in. All right, let's get over and check this out. I'll tell you a couple things what Bella did uh, a little bit later in the video. Uh, one thing, she locked me out, but uh, she did something else goofy today. All right, here's a legit campground here. We're on the island. Wait, wait, maybe we're not. I think you can camp both on and off the island. So over there is uh, the campground. Hang on, I gotta bring up my maps and see where we're at. Wow, this is, uh, this is really nice so far. It's okay, so here's the funny thing is, it's not just a movie set and, uh, you know, filming location of the movie titled Big Fish. This island is inhabited by goats. So I hear. So, and it's told, and we ran into the guy that um, takes care of the place too. And I did read it online, you know, it is pet friendly, but they uh, they asked that, you know, make sure your dogs are, uh, you know, on a leash and well behaved and under control and stuff. Uh, Bella's a very good candidate for that. She's, she's, she meets all that. So Bella might meet goats and might have a natural tendency to want to herd them she, you know instinctively maybe not there are goats and there are some pretty little ones too little baby goats <laughs> Bella's checking them out where's some goats at those are goats Baba <laughs> where'd it go Easy, easy girl. All right, we took a little detour. Uh, we're gonna get back up to the downtown area. The This road that goes around the perimeter, it just looks like there's picnic tables along it, so you can picnic and fish a lot. It's supposed to be really good fishing here as well. Uh, we gotta circle back around though. What a beautiful place. Here we are, walking the streets of downtown. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be a downtown where there's stores. It's probably just some fictional random street where there were some residences. Um, there are signs around that say that says the movie set buildings are not safe. So I don't know that I can probably peek in some windows, but obviously look this porch. <laughs> Has seen better days. Huh? Let's have a peek. And of course, they're not functional. Okay. Maybe had a a place that maybe there was a shot like in the front door where you know people were inside the doorway, but yeah, it's just dirt in there. Yeah, it's not going to be any uh, bathrooms, bedrooms, or kitchens. Okay. <laughs> um. So I guess that leaves, uh, oh, you can see over in this other building, you know, uh, somebody's been doing, doing some upkeep, doing some repairs. 
probably keep the goats out from underneath there. And uh, that brick, I noticed on the, on the very, very bottom, I noticed that brick is uh, it's like glue on, like stick on brick. <laughs> it still has a, a cool a cool look and a cool feel to it. We got a house across the street. We'll go over there in a second. Uh, yeah, a cool entrance. Oh, and I seen on that house, on the front door, there's a little sign there that says mayor. <laughs> yeah, that's where the mayor mayor lives oh it has a fireplace out there i wonder maybe some of the buildings were more functional than others that is possible depending if there were inside scenes to be shot now there's just a, a place for probably casting crew to walk and go look out windows there's some i think there's goat poop in there <laughs> well the goats are way down there i wonder if they'll wander up this way i don't know if i'm gonna intentionally take bell up to the goats or not this is this is pretty cool pretty cool in this porch look at these double doors the outside the aesthetics are pretty pretty nice pretty charming wouldn't you say in the doorway from that oh hang on bella easy girl yeah i'd like to peek in that one and see what because it's going on with that fireplace or that chimney. No, that's fake brick too. It's <laughs> a little bit of lattice repairs. I'm trying to maintain it. It is a bit of an attraction. Uh, yeah, I'm safe. And same thing in this house. There's just a, kind of a platform inside there. Where are you off to, Bella? Hmm. Yeah, not a whole lot of functionality there. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I did call down here last uh, last night. And a fella said if uh, we were going to be RV camping. Uh, or no, well, I asked him about it. And he said that he didn't think he'd have any any sites available any hookups any sites with hookups i said well we wouldn't need hookups uh he says oh well in that case yeah we have places you can park well where do we get back up to where we park the rvs there's a really cool spot um it's gonna have some fire rings and stuff if we could park out the end of the road there where we're at um that would be really cool especially if there's like a, a group of us a couple of fire rings it's real scenic you'll see when we get back there hmm uh, maybe this one was made up to be like a general store or something, the way those front windows are. Yeah, you know, a lot of front, you know, this, you know, display, display area. A little cabinet here. That's the most functionality I've seen. And, uh, it has a full floor. So, I might have to go watch the movie. And, uh, some, some ceiling. Bits and pieces of ceiling. Yeah, maybe they had some uh, inside shots or something of this with, with this building. There's one more over here. Oh, and there's an old shoe. Uh, <laughs> you see that line between the two poles? People throwing tons and tons of shoes across. We'll have to go down and have a closer look. And this kind of looks like an old log cabin. Mm -hmm. Anything inside? Nope, full dirt floor. Um, now there's the platform. There's a platform in there too. I know it's hard to see because of the glass. Come on, this way. Huh. Other than that, it's just a an island uh, with good fishing around it. It's kind of fascinating, isn't it? I think this is the first movie set I've ever been to. There it is. Uh, shoes. Lots of shoes up there. And somebody missed. There's a there's a pair up in that one branch. Somebody missed the line and got stuck in a tree. Eh, well. Huh. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know why in California there's a shoe fence. I don't know. 
I don't know what the thing is about throwing shoes over over lines or fences. What's the significance of that? Do you know? Do you know? Come on. Oh, we missed the church up at the end. How can we do that? Bill's doing some extra sniffing around here. Shortly, it's because of the goats. All the goat traffic. I don't see them anywhere. They're still down in that one field. Huh? Come on, girl. Come on, come on. It's just goats. Come on. <laughs> All right, on our way back up to the church. We can't miss the church. The, uh, what else I could tell you about Bella? She did the weirdest thing on the way. She always rides in the passenger seat, always looking and seeing. And a lot of you know that. Um, been with the channel for a while. She's always, she's not one of them dogs that lays down, takes a nap when we're driving. She's always sitting up, looking and seeing. She, six years she's been doing that. And she's making water. <laughs> Gotta make some water. Uh, today she got down on the floor and walked uh, all the way back and got up in the bed while we're driving. She has never done that in six years. And stayed back there for about five minutes. I'm like, where's my dog? What do you do? I mean, I knew she went, but it was just kind of out of character and not the usual for her. Um, it was just a weird, you know? And then her locking me out. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. So there's the church. I wonder if it has any functionality. It has regular doors on it. Hmm. Maybe they use it for like a maintenance thing for the rest of the town. That's possible. Maybe they have a peek in a window. Maybe the door's unlocked. The steps look good. We might go retry that. Oh, and there's straw under here. Uh, oh, and it's open the whole way on the other three sides of the building. Maybe a little bit of shoulder for goats. And when does need clean? Hmm? Oh no, the floor is completely open. There's, <laughs> there was probably, uh, probably the same thing. There's probably a platform inside that door. Maybe drawing inclement weather. This is a place, this is a place for the goats to go. I guess this is the goat pen. Yeah, it looks somewhat heavily trafficked back here. Huh, yeah, it's where the goats go and sleep at night. And go out about the island grazing during the day. Hmm? Okay, now this is not free camping. Uh, I think the place is like $15 a night. Not bad. I wouldn't mind doing that for a, a stretch of nights. Out here on an island. I'm sure there's plenty of um, wildlife. Quiet out here, away from the traffic. And, uh, you know, for 15 bucks a night. Yeah, let's go this way. So if we were to pull in the other way, now I'm thinking if a group of us friends were traveling, we could probably get, I don't know if I had the car off of there, could probably actually squeeze two over there. Another one up here and another one, maybe two around, you know, probably four comfortably, five would probably be a pretty good squeeze. Couldn't probably make it happen. But a big, big old picnic table for a group. Hmm? And a fire ring here. Got a nice swing. And then there's another fire pit down here. So, I don't know. I got a few vehicles in here. I know Bella would not mind going down over the hill into the water. Oh, there's a nice flat spot down there. A little mini beach. You can hike down over and do some fishing. Spanish moss in the trees. Uh, here's how you know you're getting pretty far south. You start seeing Spanish moss. 
Hmm? You're getting pretty far south? He says, where's some darn goats at? I know they're around here somewhere. So I'd forgotten about this place. I did have it marked on my, uh, pinned on my Google Maps. And I kind of forgot about it and I meant to stop here before. And I just got, I ended up taking another route, seeing something else and thought, ah, maybe some other time. Well, this is that other time. And when we were headed down uh, the general direction where we're going, I noticed this was right on the way. So I, I'm like, good, I do get to, finally get to go there. Uh, fascinating. Let's say it's the first movie set type thing I've ever ever been to. That was uh, like about 20 years ago. Two, that movie was shot. Yeah, 2003. So uh, anyway, we're gonna we're just take a little break here. We did. There was a five dollar day use area uh, fee. So uh, take advantage of that and maybe stop and have lunch and um, get back on the road and continue on south. So uh, give the video a thumbs up if you kind of like this sort of thing. It'll let me know to maybe aim for more of it. Seek out more movie sets and filming locations. Um, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you like this sort of thing. I guess that's all I got. Okay? I'll see you next time. Yep, looks like camping near the lake to me.